Hey there and welcome to day two of our build. And today this is what we're going to be building. Wow, look at this. We are going to be building this about me and the education. And now we'll also be building this my skills, my skills proficiency. Look at that, look at that it is we have some neomorphism here, and I'll show you that in a second. So let's go back to our project and we'll, we'll be a bit quick today and we'll start with the HTML. And now what you're going to do, we'll go out of this header section and you're going to have a new section and we'll give it an ID. And we'll say ID go. It can be if let's say about because it's all the about section. In the about section, we're going to put an H2 and say about, about me. Oh, let's let's make it this and down there we're going to put a paragraph of what we're going to talk about us. And for now. I'll just put that dummy text to see how it looks like. So now, before diving into the CSS, we are going to first style. I mean, we are going to first finish this HTML so that we don't slide between the two, the two pages. Now, I'm going to create a... Okay, let me, let me, let me quickly show you. What I want to do here. What I want to do, I want to, to put a span so that I style this. I style this download resume section. Now I'm going to say span. And remember, remember yesterday we would we imported bootstrap bootstrap icons. And now what I'm going to do is to put bootstrap icons here and as a class and now this class is going to be bootstrap icons download download so that we import that that small icon to download and here I'm going to say download resume yeah i think that's all for that for that side by the way i forgot i forgot something here and that is the profile pic here that is supposed to be our profile picture and now to do it easily let me let me structure this good in, in another way i'm going to say a div and here i'm going to have an image and my profile, my profile image is already here imported. So don't forget to import your profile picture into this code. And I'm going to put it right here. And I'll give this maybe this whole div. I'm going to give it um, a class. And I'll save that class to profile. And now down here, this about me section, I'm going to give it another class. I mean, yeah, I'm going to wrap up, to wrap it up in this div, and I'm going to give a new class to that div. So let me let me quickly do that. And here. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. And I forgot to add this download resume inside of this div. And what I'm going to do here, this span, I'm going to give it a class because I would like to style it in a different way. I'll give it a class of resume. Sorry, it's supposed to be resume. And here, this whole div, I can give it a class. 
so I would like to style it also. So let's go to our browser and see what's happening there. Okay. So let's refresh. Oh, it's already there. Okay, okay. This is this is good, right? Now we have to style it the way we want it to be. Because if you look at the project, it's a bit different from that. And for that, what I'm going to do, go back to my VS code. And I'll start by styling this whole section. So let's go to our styles. And let's try to put some comments in our code so that we don't get lost. And here I'm going to say about me section. And don't worry that part won't show up because it's a, it's a comment. And I'm going to start by the ID. And that's how we reference an ID in CSS with a hashtag. And I'm going to say about. And I'll start by giving it a height of 100 view height. And remember we did that yesterday. It's going to take up the whole available space on the screen. And I'm going to say background, background, and also black. Let me give it a black background. And now we are going to add on by giving it a color. Yeah. And that color, I'm going to say, I'm going to put some gray. So RGB. And for some gray, I think it's 156, uh, 154, and yeah, 150. All right, that's, that's a gray we want. And now this whole div, I want it to, I want the profile pic to be on the left and the about me section on the right. And with that, we can use a display of grid. Yeah, we can use a display of grid so that we divide the whole section in grids. And I'm going to say grid template columns repeat and I'm going to repeat five times one of R and grid grid uh, auto rows so the number of rows I mean the the width of the columns and that's going to be let's say 20% of the whole width now we're going to give this section we're going to give it some padding just for um, for the matter of styling i'm going to give it a four rem nine rem i mean nine nine rem not zero nine rem zero rem and again nine rem so this type of padding that's uh, with CSS, the padding starts on the top. So this forum is the padding top, then padding right, padding bottom, and padding left. Now we do this to save time. Instead of typing padding top forum, padding left forum, we just say padding, then we, we set the, the, four, the four sides, right? And now that's a lot of CSS. Let's give it a try and see how it looks like right now. Okay, okay, okay. That has started to take some shape. And what we're going to do next, we are going to extend this up to the end and to extend this picture. And for that, I'm going to say, uh, let's start by the picture. We gave it a class of profile. Now, what I'm going to say is profile, profile, and I'll give it a grid, grid column, grid column start to, to specify where it should, it should start and where it should end. And I'm going to say one so that we specify that 
the grid going to start on the first column and as you can guess there is a grid column end right grid column end and we're going to say uh, the third column we don't want it to go up until the end we want to we want it to stop at the third column and we're going to say grid grid row grid row start and that's going to be the first the it will start from the first row up until the last one yeah say grid row grid row end i'll say that to five so that vertically it scales on the whole on the whole grid and now i'm going to do the same for the about me side about me and so i'm going to copy the same code oh i'll paste it here and now i'm just going to change it oh and now i'm just going to change it and what i'm going to do here i'm going to say grid column start three where the other one ended up to six but now there are only five columns where are we putting six that's because the the end must be one plus from where it has to stop like this one we have put grid column end that means it's going to end at the start of the third column and here it's going to end at the start of the sixth column but we don't have the sixth column that means it's going to end at the end of the fifth column i don't know if you are getting me because of the repetition but that's it and here we're going to say grid row and five four four sorry we're going to put a text align i want it i want the whole text to be in the middle put center and some padding for styling uh, the padding i think we should put a one rim and down here i'm going to put a position relative and where we're putting that remember we have we have to put some absolute position for this for this down, download resume right here and let's refresh and see what's happening okay okay that looks nice we have our profile pic on the left and our description on the right that means that the grid is working just fine and next what we are going to do here we are going to say maybe there might be a paragraph let's see yeah we have a paragraph and let's assume it's the only paragraph you're going to have here so now i'm going to say i access the parent element about me then i say look at the paragraph in that element and give it a font family font family and up here we imported Sophia, so let's just add another another one, and this one is called Trirong. Yeah, Trirong, and you can check for it in the documentation about Google Fonts. So just going to put Trirong here, and. I'm going to give it that text. I mean, that text, I'm going to give it a font size. Font size. And we'll say for now, just one rim. Some letter spacing, some letter spacing, so that it becomes easy to read. I give it a two pixels. So let's first give it a try and see okay okay that has changed right you've seen that it has changed now we have this nice uh, yeah i think it's nice <laughs> so let's go back to our ide continue the styling and next what i'm going to say is let me see we can actually we can style this for now 
we can style this download resume parts and we give it a class class of resume and you can access it from there and now i'm going to give it a position of absolute remember we had put here position relative now we can access by an absolute and we're going to give it a background background of some i don't know some gray i don't know some dark gray let's try let's try let's try no no no, no. i don't want that one let's try another one that is going to be this gray wait for it yeah actually yeah that one and let's add some padding and the padding I'm going to add a one rem but i don't know why i like the one rem padding <laughs> i don't know uh now we're going to put some position we're going to say from top it has to be 90 percent from top and now that 90 percent is according to the parent to the parent element that is the relative element and i'm going to say 45 percent from the left so that it's be in the middle because if we put from 50 it's going to start exactly in the middle and direct to the the right side and it won't be in the middle right i'm going to give some color some color of rgb 255, 255, and to 231, that's 196, yeah, that is. So let's give it a try and see if that works. Yeah, okay, that works, that works actually. This is the, the download, but now, uh, it's, I've put it down here, because maybe your text here can be longer than mine. <laughs> we don't know. That's that why I had put it there. And next, we are going to style. Okay, we are done styling this part, I think, because right here. And now, what you're going to do next is to add another div. And I'm going to give it a class of education because I want to put my highest, like the highest degree. Now, because uh, the rest is going to be in my CV. So there is no need of putting it right here on the education part. Now, I would like just to put it, to put the education part here so that you showcase the highest, I mean, the highest degree you have. I'm going to give it an H2 of education so that we have some styling and H2 here and H2 here. That's, that's fine. And I'm going to add a section. I'm going to add a section where I'm going to put my, my, my school, my university, in the um, the faculty or the degree and the period, right? So let's do it quickly. And this is going to be, for my case, going to be Uganda Matters University. And going to have another P tag of books. I'm doing a bachelor's degree, bachelor's degree in computer science. So I'm going to put that here, computer, computer science. And down, down here, I'm going to add another P tag and I'll give it that's okay this is the period like let me say from 2017 up to 2020 but in my case it, i'm going to put this 
current end up with the three dots because I'm I'm currently doing it right. I have not yet finished, but I'll, I want to put it there. Now I'll give them classes so that I access them easily. Okay, let me just make it sim simple, and I'll say their school. And here I'm going to say I'm going to put a class of let me say faculty, but these names are up to you. But I would like to keep faculty because it's it's a bit short. And here I'm going to say period period. Yeah, let's see how it looks like. And we refresh. Okay, okay, that's that's great. We are having it right here where it's supposed to be. But now I would like it to be this education to be on the same, like on the same line, on the same line, and not line but columns with this one. So let me let me quickly style that part. Let's let's style it right now, and we'll go back to our IDE. Now go to our CSS, and there I'm going to first style this whole div, and we give it a class of education. So I'm going to come down here, and I say education. And that part, I'm first going to style it and give it some grid properties. So let me take these ones, the ones I had here. You see, and I'll just put them here. Now, this one should start on the third column and end on the sixth column, the way I explained it to you. And here from the fourth to the sixth row. Okay. And we want it to be in the middle of the div. I'm going to say text align center. And let's give it some. Should we add some padding top? Okay, let me first add a color. We're going to use this same color, this same color here. Is it this one? No, let me let me actually enter it manually. The RGB and that's going to be 223, 220, and 215. So let's first let's give that a try and see what's happening. And when we refresh. Oh, that looks nice, right? That looks nice for the moment. And now, for the styling matter, I have to put some space here. So I'm going to reduce on this the padding top of this download resume. And it was 90. And now, let me put it at 85. Let's see how that looks like when you refresh yeah actually let me put it at 80 so that we see the difference from about me and education so let's give it a try again okay okay i think that looks nice yeah i think that looks nice and for now for now, I'm going to say, yeah, I think that's all for that section. That's all for that section. Oh, actually, no, we have to add some, some styling. Now, the next part is going to be, we are going to actually add a div where you can put some some of your skills. Let's say you are a front end engineer, you can put all um, you can put all your skills there. 
so that when someone visits your, your website, he, he has a quick idea of which skills do you, you have. And for that, I'm going to go out of this section. Let me just, let me just get out of this section. And I'm going to add another section. Yeah, it's already there. A section. Okay, it's not there. I'm going to add it. Now say section. I'm going to give it a class. Let me give it a class of let's uh, let's give it actually an ID and I'll say why in a minute. I'm going to give it an ID of work. And for now. I'll just define this section in two divs. And this first div is going to be about the skills, as I said before. I'm going to give it a class, class of skills, a class of skills. And down here, in that class, I can add an, another H2. I'm going to say skills. Down here, I'm going to add a paragraph. Yeah. To add a paragraph where I'll put some text like my skills, my skills proficiency, proficiency my skills proficiency and down i'm just going to put another section where i'll actually display them and so there i'm going to add in this section let me add three divs and where am i adding three divs let me let me answer that in a second and this first div, I'll give it a class. I'll give it a class of front end. Let me say front end. We suppose you are you are full stack developer. And here I'm going to add a H3. Well I'll say front end. Front end and down. I'm going to add two spans because like in my case in my case let me just add three spans and I add two more here what I'm going to say I'm going to put here HTML because I use HTML for the front end I use CSS and down I'm going to say React I'm a React lover Okay, then the first div, the second one, you can guess I'll put a class of backend because I said suppose you are a full stack and here I'm going to add an H3 of backend. backend. And by the way, you're not supposed to put what I had put here. You can you can reference them according to your actual to your actual skills and here i'm going to say node node.js i use node.js for my backend with a framework called express express.js and i'm going to get rid of this third spark yeah that's it and for my last div I'll say, what can we add in this div? Let's say the tools, yeah, the tools I use. I'm going to take a class of tools. And one thing I like is to give classes according to what is in those classes so that I reference them easily and I don't get lost while styling. And let me say I'm going to put three spans here. The first one, okay, forgot to put an H3. Here, I'm going to say tools. Here, the first panel will be git. 
use I use GitHub. You can guess with Git, Git, and yeah, next GitHub. Down. I have some some basic knowledge in Photoshop. So let me just put it here. It's like to show off. <laughs> and for that, we are going to style it and yeah I'm going to style that by by adding let me let me just see what you're going to do here we're going to style this whole part yeah of skills and for that there is a there is a section yeah there is a section so Let's start by accessing the section. So for that, we we'll say skills section, and we we'll give you a background color, background of black. Yeah, because I want the whole portfolio to to have some dark. I don't know dark background. I don't know something like that, and I'll give a color. Give a color of white, and down here, I'm going to give some padding, some padding of two rim on each side, and I'll put all the text in the middle. Say so text align center, text align center. So let's just quickly see how it looks like, and we we'll refresh. Yeah, it's here, it's here. Now we have some white background here. And that's because we didn't add this whole part here. We didn't give it a back, black background. And for that, I'll go back, I'll go back to my IDE and I'll continue the stylix. And I'm going to say down here, Let's first say the whole class of skills. No, 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 no. Let's just continue. I'll fix that in a second. What we can do here next? My skills proficiency. Yeah, let's give this one a class because I would like to style it a bit. And I'll say I'll give it a class of proficiency. Proficiency. Proficiency, yeah. And I'm going to style it down here. And I'm going to say proficiency. I'll give it a fourth family of tree wrong. Remember, we had imported tree wrong up there. Tree wrong. And give it a color. Going to put some dark color, and that's going to be 129, 129, and 131. And I'll add some font, some font size of 1.5 rem. So now let's go back and see how that looks like. Yeah, you see it has. It has changed here. It has changed. And now, what I can do here, I'm just going to first style. I'll style the skills. I mean the whole the whole div before. Yeah, let's give it a try. Okay, okay. That that looks nice to me. That looks nice. And next, what I'm going to do is. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Styling is three divs, and for that, I'll first call them at once because I would like to apply almost the same style to them. It's a front end, the class of front end, back end. There are three classes and tools. Okay, and I'm going to say, Yeah, I'm going to give them a display so that. Yeah, this page side by side. I'm going to say inline block. 
and I'm going to give each of them a height. Height. So you can give them a height according to the number of skills enumerated in them. I'll just say 15 rem. I'm going to give them a width of let's say 12, 12 rem. And down here, what I'm going to say is okay, let's first give it a try and see how it looks like. Okay, okay, now they are displayed side by side, right? But I don't like these to, to be displayed like this. Instead, I would like to have my git here, git hub here, I mean git here, git hub down, and Photoshop down there. And for that, <laughs> I'll use a, a, an HTML trick. And what I'm going to say, I'll just put a BR tag, similar to what we had done yesterday, so that we break, we break the statement there. And I'm going to do that everywhere where I need it. I'm going to add it here also. Yeah, actually that's it. Let's let's try it again. And we refresh. Yeah, yeah, now they, they look nice. Now they look nice. But one thing I'm seeing here and somewhere here is that there are these these words are not starting here right at the beginning yet that what i would like right for some styling purpose and what i'm going to say is i'm going to come here and i put a text align and i'll say start so that all of them start at the beginning. I'm going to add some font size of 1.5, 1.5 rem. And down here, I'm going to say padding. I'm going to add some padding of 1 rem. So let's give it a try. We'll refresh. Yeah. I think that that looks nice to me somehow somehow but now we can add some some stylings because i don't like it to stay like that it will be it will be a bit weird so for that i'll quickly go back and here i'm going to actually i'm going to add some margin top some Margin top, I'm going to say six rem, and again some margin right. Okay, let's first see what what's happening here. I'm going to say to refresh, and yeah, yeah, that's what I want. Somehow, somehow, that's what I want. And I quickly go back here and I'll say color. This color, I don't want it to be white, but I want to give it some khaki. And why that? I'll explain in a second. And I want to put some border radius here. Some border radius of 10 pixels so that they have the corners. A bit rounded so refresh okay okay that's that is taking some shape right yeah and here where where am i giving this khaki and that's because if you remember yesterday up here we had put some khaki here and here and i think it's a good practice to to maintain some calories so I'll go back, I'll go back here. And down here, I'm going to say background. I'm going to say back, okay, actually I can, I can leave the background, but I want some box shadow. 
so that we get that new morphism I show you. I'm going to say two pixels, two pixels. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to put some four pixels. And now I'm going to put some color, some color here. That's yeah, I think this is the color I want. And I add on some minus two pixels, minus two pixels and some four pixels here and i'll put another color put another color here and that is yeah i think it's that color let's give it a try and see refresh all right 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 guys we are we are getting closer and now we don't want these I need three cards to be, I mean, to be closer like that. So I'll just put, I don't know, I may put here a margin, a margin right, or simply a margin of, let me see, maybe of two rims. And when I refresh, yeah i think that that's nice right comparing to what we had that's nice and now what i'm going to say is um, let me let me go back and see here what we have we have already done this part all the tools and everything and in the css yeah, in the CSS, we did also almost everything. So I think that's it. That's it. Most done. We're almost done with today's build. Let's just see how it looks like up until this point. Okay, so this is what we built yesterday. This is what we added today. That's nice, right? And now, now, I'm going to add some some advanced css if i'm to call it like that and we're going to say transform and here we're not rotating we're not translating but all i want is to skew yeah and i'll skew on the x-axis and i'll skew the cards by three degrees so let's give that a try and see how it's going to be. Okay, okay. Have you have you seen that? Okay, okay. And now maybe I would like to to skew it on the y on the y axis. We try it. Yeah, that looks that looks nice. Let's try to put it at five degrees here. Yeah. Five degrees and we see refresh yeah guys guys how, how how do you think about this yeah according to me it's you know I, I like that styling i like that styling and with that we are done with that two parts and yeah that's it for today so we have done this part yesterday today we did this part and the other part and tomorrow we'll be building another part down there so guys thank you for watching this tutorial and i hope i'll see you tomorrow for a new one so don't forget to subscribe like and share my video so that we we'll continue sh keeping this momentum and with that said, I'll see you tomorrow.